lovelies you're welcome back to reviews and recaps let's get into today's video today we're going to be talking about Mata Holt, Arian Curry, the M&M Kids if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like share and leave a comment in the comment section below now let's get into it you guys can already tell my mood seems a bit low today and it is because of all of the madness that has come out recently in relation to the court documents now shout out to brown skin girl for breaking the story and bringing the disgustingness of meta holt to the public now we already know the kind of man he is we've seen a lot we've seen so much in the last couple of years we've seen him behave like a horrible disgusting man so i'm not surprised about it but i will be honest it is something that really took me aback i was honestly and i still am genuinely hurt for the children it is nothing but horrible to actually end up having a parent like this in my opinion this is horrible um but i want us to focus our conversation on certain parts of the the court doc filed by melody sheree Okay, so the part I want us to first focus on was that there is a reference in paragraph four to the order um, and specifically then paragraph three saying there shall be no corporal punishment administered to the children for the father's edification. Corporal punishment shall include spanking, slapping, pinching, pulling, twisting, hitting with an object and forcing a child. Oh, this breaks my heart. To consume any unpleasant substance such as soap hot sauce etc this is absolutely disgusting the fact that someone has to a court order has to say for father's edification what does that mean just because i don't want it to come from my mouth i want it to come from a different source edification means the moral or intellectual instruction or improvement of something of someone sorry it means to instruct by word or example as to improve morally and spiritually right now we know in this instance right the edification means they're trying to instruct the father to not do something right it's very clear it says for the father's edification if it was something where there was a concern about the mother's edification they would have said for the parent's edification this is what you shouldn't do right but instead they said for the father's edification why because there has been allegedly allegations of the father doing stuff to the children cannot lie to you guys when i read that i was like we're talking pinching pulling twisting hitting with an object forcing a child to con like why would they have to give those specific examples that is what bothered me so much I was like especially the forcing a child to consume any unpleasant substance i'm like is this something that has allegedly happened before where is this coming from that's a very very specific point i know i was watching empress radio earlier and she reminded us of a video shout out to her um where mattel was basically saying who wants the belt like who does that and then you can hear one of the kids crying that's not something to be asking the children that's not something they should be threatened with now let's move on to paragraph five um i'm going to read it and then we'll talk about it and this is the paragraph that i really really want to talk about because there's so much in this particular paragraph and i just have to read it out to you guys and then we can talk about it so since the entry of the final judgment of divorce and september 6 2022 now first of all i don't want to show it on the screen i just think it's so triggering and also i shout out to brown skin girl um i want you guys to go there and read it if you guys want to read the full thing okay so let's get back to paragraph five and then we'll discuss in a second so since the entry of the final judgment of divorce and september 6 2022 order the father has willfully violated the above provision by allowing his paramour if you don't know who a paramour is we are breaking things down today a paramour is a lover especially the illicit partner of a married person so of course you know that Ariane curry has been coleslaw con on the cob or during the marriage so of course she gets called paramour so imagine like you're still being called a side chick in the in the docks seriously like you can't even get all 
you can't get away from these side chick names. Like they had to give you one nice, oh, is it really a nice name, is it? But a nicer version of coleslaw in the court documents. Anyways, let's get back into it, right? So by allowing his paramour to make disparaging remarks about the mother, the father has shown the minor children videos of the mother on dates with other men and making inappropriate comments about the video to the minor children. Let's pause for a second because I don't want to forget all the things I want to say. So let's talk about this paramour making disparaging remarks about the mother. Now, we know this is a fact, okay? It's even underlined in the document, right? We know that she has done this because she continually says all these things on social media, speaks to original straight no chaser, all these different things that she has been doing for so long even the interviews it's like she continues to make disparaging comments remarks about melody sheree and it's been going on for a long time like anybody who is a sensible man will take control of that situation and call her out and say you can't be disrespecting the mother of my children but he doesn't have sense one he hates melody all these people that say he loves her, he doesn't. He hates her. And he hates the fact that she had the strength to leave him. That is what it boils down to. He is punishing the children. He's punishing, he's trying to ruin our reputation, trying to ruin the children because he knows that is the thing that would affect her the most. Now, this is all my opinion. And allegedly, everything on this channel is alleged. Now, the other thing about it is he continues to, he's been showing videos of Melody on dates with other men. Do you know how disgusting you have to be? How you have to be the scum of the earth to be able to do such a thing, right? Like a lot of the things in this thing was triggering for me personally because of some personal things i've experienced but like do you know the level of disgustingness like do you know how horrific you have to be as a human being to show videos of your ex-wife on a date on dates with other men and then make inappropriate comments about that to the children now we weren't physically there but let's not act like we don't know what some of the comments would be, right? Like, put yourself in those shoes, right, for a second. Why else would you be showing your, your children their mother on a date if you're not trying to insinuate that their mother is, quotation marks, a slag or something, right? It's almost like you're trying to minimize the value the children place in their mother. They love their mother. They respect their mother. They value their mother. And you're trying to displace those children by exposing them to things and then controlling the narrative and then making inappropriate comments. So the thing is, if you get your way, you want to be able to put those seeds into the children so that they start to disrespect their mother. They start to see their mother as whatever it is you want them to see their mother as. It's just like, how horrible of a parent do you have to be? How disgusting, how much of a low life, how much of a scum do you have to be to do that? Like all these people that continuously scream and say that, oh, Mateo is a good father. Oh, I want to curse you out, but you don't know I'm a Christian. I don't be liking to go too far, but it's so heartbreaking. Like I could cry right now. I feel like I'm on the brink of tears and I'm trying to hold back tears. Anyways, let's continue. I sort of took a bit of a break in between this because I was like, now nah, I need to gather myself together and try and push through because I feel like we need to get the word out there. So I need to do my part to talk about this and call people's attention to various things right so let's keep going and yeah i'm sorry to anyone who's listening to this 
and is getting triggered the way I'm getting triggered as well. I'm so sorry about that. But it's something where we have to push through so we can get the word out there so we can help someone else. You know, as someone who has been in a situation where as a kid I've experienced that and it's really heartbreaking. It really is. When you have one parent calling another parent names and lying on them and then it's just like you grow up in such dysfunction and I'm just like thinking about the M&M kids and I'm like just hoping for the best for them like honestly it's really really heartbreaking okay guys I'm not even a crier but like that really moved me to tears anyways I'm good now I took a break <laughs> we're back now I'm going to continue reading and then we'll talk about it um, the father continues to disseminate information to bloggers concerning the previous custody case, therefore placing the minor children in the middle of the party's dispute or litigation. The father continues to use corporal punishment that is excessive and abusive towards the minor children, including, oh God, but not limiting to choking, grabbing, punching the minor son, hitting all the children, pulling and twisting them. Wow. The father has refused to follow the court order as he has stopped therapy between him and his minor son. Wow. That is someone that does not give a blip. Because if you did, right, let's even assume like, okay, you didn't know that you shouldn't be smacking your children like this, right? Now, I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm just, let just followed the analogy for a second. Now that you've been told not to, and there's now been therapy set up between you and your minor son. Wouldn't you make sure you go to every single session? You go, you go and continue to go. So the fact that you have refused to follow the court order and you stopped that, it's like that can't be a good parent. Who does that? It's for the benefit of you and your son. It's for you and your son to be able to have a better relationship. It's for you to be able to hear your son out, listen to him, you and you know have develop a better relationship. But instead, you chose to stop the therapy. Like who, who in their right mind does this? Now let's keep reading. The other paragraph I want to move to is paragraph sixteen. And I'm going to read it. It says the father constantly has the minor children and his paramour who has threatened the mother and allows for her daughter to bully and taunt the minor children of the father. That is insane. That is despicable. The fact that like not Arian could step in to make sure her daughter isn't allegedly bullying and taunting the minor children. That is insane. How horrible do you have to be? I don't care if you want to be with Mattel. Be with Mattel for the rest of your life. If that's what you want. Wait on Mattel until you grow old and pass on. If that is what you want. But to allow another child to taunt the other children. And not call her to order is insane. It's like one, you're creating and you're, you're grooming a bully. And you're also affecting the growth and well-being of other children. It's like, is that something that you want to do? You have no moral compass, no affection, no empathy. And if it was random kids on the street, you should never let that happen as a parent. And if it does happen, you correct it. Like, why would you continue to allow? Why would you even allow it to begin with and continue to? still reading mother fears that continued contact between the children and the father's paramour will cause confusion and emotional distress for the minor children absolutely additionally the father's promiscuity was an issue during the divorce and the mother averts that she's concerned for the children's moral well-being whilst in their father's care that is absolutely fair because it, it is obvious that he, he is promiscuous that is that is clear it's like having your child around someone like Arion who is always making disparaging comments about Melody. Why would anyone in their right mind think that she is going to take good care of the children to begin with when they're in her care? Like, you don't like their mother. You've made it very abundantly clear 
to anyone who cares to listen everywhere all out and about we all know you don't care about this woman you don't see it for her now i do have to flag that mattel did respond to this and you can see the response at um, brown skin girls channel what i will say though is i feel like from what mattel has shown us all these years we know what the truth is don't forget some of the things he said on the tasha k interview he admitted to physically chastising his son right so let's just let's just put that out there let's just not forget and there is a video on empress radio if you guys want to go and watch it saying uh, talking about belt so those are some instances in case people want to forget and then say oh it's all lies so i'm just putting that out there for any, anyone who wants to get in the comments and say some nonsense like that but anyways that's all i have to talk to you guys about today let me know what you guys think in the comment section below make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you tap that bell button make sure you smash that like button as well also let's continue the conversation in the chat i want to hear what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye